it is that time of year in Japan where a lot of stores dish out their lucky bags or fukubukuro in Japanese in which you get a whole bunch of mystery items what is way over the value that the mystery bag is priced for and of course one of the things that I wanted to look out for is the Disney store yes the Japan Disney store does release a yearly mystery bag or lucky bag and it's different every year there are two types there was a 3,000 yen one and a 10,000 yen one and this one right here I'm going to be unboxing or opening is the 3,000 yen one it is the very first time that I've ever bought and will be unboxing a mystery bag from the Disney store so I am super excited and I hope you are too I ordered it online about a month ago so it was delivered to me on December 28th it came quite early in terms of like a lucky bag usually they do ship a little later or they're released on the first week of January so to be getting this right after the Christmas holidays like a late Christmas present it feels pretty good and right before we get into it I just quickly want to show you the bag that it comes in all of the mystery bags come in a shopping bag of sorts and this one features Mickey on the front the design is different every year and the side panels also have a sort of design which I absolutely adore Pluto's on one side the back features a mini which is quite appropriate and finally the last panel is yes my fave Donald Duck. So in every mystery bag you're going to get four items. The first being one of two plushies, either Olaf or Pooh. I am hoping for Pooh because I do have a Pooh corner on my display shelf and I think he'll go quite nicely there. The second guaranteed item is one of two Mickey or Minnie mugs. It's a surprise which one you'll get. The third item, everyone's going to get this. It's a reusable shopping bag. And the final item is a coupon, a 10% or 20% coupon for the Japan Disney Store. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Oh, there's a cable tie here. I was not prepared for that. So let me just quickly grab a pair of scissors to cut that so that I can undo the zipper. And I'll be pulling out one item at a time. Let's see what our first one is. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Yes, yes, I have Pooh Bear. We're off to a good start so far. I have not had this kind of Pooh Bear. I have seen similar versions of him at both the Tokyo Disney Parks and at the Disney Store, but I don't think I've ever picked one up like this at the Disney Store. I have picked a similar kind at Tokyo Disney, so it's really really nice to finally have my first official Disney Store Pooh Bear. Yay! <laughs> He's so cute! Oh, of course I will be showing you the retail price that he goes for or what the items go for but this one because it was an included or guaranteed item this doesn't come with a retail price but I can give you an average of what they usually go for and this size and this kind of plush I would say is about at least uh, 1600 yen to 2000 yen that's what we're looking at so first item Pooh Bear let's set him aside for now and we'll go on to the next one and the second item is oh it's a memo pad or a notepad oh my gosh I have to stop saying memo pad because that's Japanese English this is a notepad and it has a Mickey Mouse featured on the front Rodia is a French company and they are quite famous for their Clairefontaine paper I do have a bullet journal from Rodia I enjoy it greatly I also have a couple of uh, grid notepads from them that I use for hand lettering so I'm pretty happy that I got a small version of their notepad here this one comes with 80 sheets and it looks like this is lined as well the Rodia Mickey notepad and it seems that it's a gridded notepad practical very cool I am always for notepads and papers of the sort I love writing things I'm quite old-fashioned in some ways I just love the feel of pen against paper it feels a lot more personal I think item number three oh my gosh it's another notepad it's just 
for them. The Fab Four, I guess. Goofy's missing. He is also missing on the design of the shopping bag. So it's kind of interesting. Again, from the company Rodia. Same kind of grid style. I think I like this more than the gray one. Simply because it has my bias on it. And this one just has Mickey. But hey, I have two notepads now. When one runs out, I have another spare. The fourth item. Oh, what is this? It's a wallet. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting something of this caliber to be in my lucky bag. Oh my goodness. I'm kind of shaking because I've seen already a few pictures online that people have posted and I haven't seen anyone gotten a wallet yet. I must be one of the first. And check that out. That emblem means this is of Belle or related to Beauty and the Beast. Let's open her up. Yep. It's Belle. Oh my gosh. I can't believe this. This is my princess and I got her wallet in my first mystery bag. It's going so well. I'm so excited. I'm so ecstatic. I'm absolutely ecstatic. And to prove that this is a Belle's wallet, you can see her line art right here etched into the faux leather. I believe it is faux leather. And she's absolutely beautiful. And on the other side is her signature, the kind that you can get at the parks. I love signatures. I love character signatures. It adds like a much more personal touch to it. There is a small coin pocket. There are one, two pockets right here on the right side and one, two, three cards lots on the left side and a huge wide pocket for your bills wow wow i'm so so happy right now i could just stop here and i would be just like that's it i'm done this is my lucky bag i am considering myself officially lucky for the rest of the year so we're at item number five it's a plastic file or folder or organizer and huh it's from a movie I haven't seen yet I have seen like most of the Marvel movies I haven't seen Captain Marvel but I do enjoy a majority of the Marvel movies I myself am a big fan of the Thor movies especially I like the art style the cute chibi like cutesy art form of Captain Marvel it's very much in line with the anime style and cool a marvel clear file or plastic file organizer clear file is what they call it in japanese item number six is a ball pen oh my gosh i know what this is this is from the sum sum sushi line because i went absolutely crazy for that line when it first came out bought a bunch of stuff and if you haven't seen that video yet I will leave a link to that in the description so you can check out the haul that I got. I have so much from that merchandise line and it's really unfortunate that it didn't sell as well as I thought it would. It wasn't really popular so I imagine a lot of those items went into mystery bags like this one to clear out inventory and whatnot. But I do have the Donald version of this one. This one is Chip and Chip is resembling an unagi or a sea urchin kind of sushi even though sea urchin sushi is actually much more of a lighter brown like a tan like dale's color so i'm kind of surprised that they made chip into an unagi this is the secret to this pen when you knock it down it switches over to a little green man wasabi ball or ball of wasabi and then back to chip and then little green man wasabi and it goes back and forth. I love this. I loved 
all of the merchandise in the sushi line and I honestly thought it would sell a lot better than <laughs> it did. I myself am not a huge Chippendale fan because they tend to bug my bias a lot in like shorts and cartoons and stuff so I'm probably not going to be keeping this. I'll be selling this or giving it away. But it's always nice to see this lineup again. In case you want to see Donald, he is uh, resembling a salmon. I want to see salmon sushi. I love this so much. Item number, I lost count, so I'm just gonna say the next item is oh, it's a secret strap or a secret keychain strap this was released for the i want to say the 30th anniversary yep the 30th anniversary of the little mermaid there was a whole bunch of merchandise special limited merchandise that was released in the disney store to celebrate 30 years of ariel and this was one of them and this is like a blind bag and it is a blind bag that has a keychain its size so let's see which one we got Oh, I just want to quickly show you how beautiful the packaging is. I kind of got ahead of myself there, but um, I took off the pink ribbon and on the front you have a line art, a black and white line art of Ariel herself where in the scene that's right before the under the sea scene and at the back there is also another line art of Ariel and she's just kind of looking off to the side like deep contemplation about Eric. I'm... I'm sure. And the cutout of the paper is quite lovely. There is a seashell design to it. All right, let's see what keychain we got. Oh, cool. I think we have one in one of the first scenes of the movie that we're introducing to Ariel and Flounder is right there. It's like a embossed metal part of the keychain. And Ariel is in the sunken ship exploring with Flounder. It's a very old-fashioned comic book art style to it. I am going to save this because I know who I would love to give this to. The next item I am going to pull out is... Oh, I feel a box, so I'm pretty sure this is a mug. Oh, it's kind of sad that it popped right open. But it seems like it's all intact. So let's see which mug I got. Oh, I got our favorite girl, Minnie Mouse. And at the back, it simply says, hello. It's a very simple mug and it's not completely like straight edge. You can see that there's some sort of curve on the handle as well as the lip of the mug. So there's some sort of shape to it. It's a very classic mini in classic art style. I don't have a preference over which one I wanted to get in terms of the mug. I don't mind getting either Mickey or Minnie. They're both great. And uh, let's see what this uh, little slip of paper here says. Oh, it's stuck right on. It is microwave and dishwasher safe. Awesome. I think we're coming close to the end because I can only feel out one item. And it is, of course, the shopping bag. It comes with a keychain strap, a ball and chain strap, so you can attach it to your bag or your purse. And it has a nice feel to it, the material. It's quite smooth. And here is the design, the collage of all the Mickeys and his different facial expressions. Very cool. Very classic Mickey. I love that they are going back to the classics. It has a very vintage look to it. Japan went full on vintage with a bunch of merch this year, including Tokyo Disney, and people can't get enough of it. This was the year of vintage, I would say. And what's interesting about this one is it has buttons that you can close to, I don't know, adjust the size of your bag. Very interesting. I've never seen anything like it. But yeah, this is how it looks. And then when you unbutton it, it obviously increases the length of the bag. So there's more space to it. 
How very interesting. It doesn't add depth to the bag. But yeah, pretty happy with the shopping bag. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I'm sure I'm going to have to figure out how to fold it once again because I wasn't barely paying attention on how it was being unfolded. So we will put that to the side and figure that out later. And finally, the coupon. I love that they stick it into this um, like New Year money envelope. Usually adults would stick in money to give to children. I got some of that when I was younger and I'm older now and I make my own money so I no longer get these kinds of um, envelopes. And it says Happy New Year 2021 and you have Mickey and Minnie in the style of Daruma which is a kind of Japanese figure that uh, you can see around the New Year's time. I don't remember what they symbolize, but they are Daruma. And right in the middle here, it's like a very simple style. Like you see this kind of tie around a lot of the fortune envelopes or the cel celebratory envelopes. Like you get it on weddings and graduation days, and ceremonies of the sort. At the back here, on the top flap, it says shopdisney.com. Uh, a Disney store. So let's see which one I got. 10 or 20%. <gasps> wow. I am feeling the ultimate luck right now. And the great thing about this one is it lasts throughout the entire year. I can use this starting from January 10th of next year all the way until December 31st. This might not be giving me money, but this is definitely going to save me money. A lucky envelope indeed. So once again, here's everything that I got. A total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items. And if we count it all up, that comes to a total of 5,600 yen plus tax, 6,160 yen, which is not bad. It's a 3,000 yen mystery bag again, but including shipping, it actually came out a little closer to 3,800 yen. So it was almost a double in value and I am just so so happy with all of the things that I received especially considering that this is my very first um, purchase and unboxing of a lucky bag from the Disney store. If I had to choose among the items which ones I was really happy to get obviously I would say this Beauty and the Beast wallet right here or Belle's wallet. Of course a 20% coupon doesn't hurt. Pooh Bear awesome. I am not a huge fan of Olaf, so I'm really, really happy that I got Pooh Bear. And the notepad was also pretty cool. I especially love the one with the group of four. Everything was great. There was like a functional purpose to each of these items. And this is definitely making me feel like I want to do this again next year. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll subscribe and hit that bell. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.